Okay. I'll go back this way. I feel like in the original you could go through there, or maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. The startled oh. body has fallen into the formerly concealed pit. And it's only really a solution to that if you go that way first. If you go any other way, then you just die. Okay, so we'll go up this way. Um, I think you can go down through. Suddenly, from well. somewhere to the east, you will hear a twang, followed by a high-pitched shriek. Damn! It sounds not unlike the hovercraft you wrecked it. Well, we better move then. It's kind of cool that they like indicate there's something there, because the the original one it's actually quite easy to miss the screen. The little creature caught in the snare has thick-looking pinkish skin. He looks to be less than a meter tall. He doesn't seem too thrilled with this predicament. Well, we best help him out. Uh, the foliage. Yeah, no, I want to do that. Do that. You quickly untie the little guy. It's the right little guy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Before disappearing through a tiny hole in the brush, the little pink dude gives you a long look. He loves me. So I'm assuming we can't go that way. I assume. Usually when it says thick foliage. Uh, the foliage here foliage. is much too dense for We cannot pass. Go. We cannot collect two hundred dollars. Okay, so you must be able to hide behind these trees. Because there's no way I can get to the top of No, go back, go back, go back. There's no way I can get to the top of that cliff in that amount of time. Here we go. We can hide. It was just over here you couldn't. That was a tense moment. Vohal's thug failed to spot you and is off to search elsewhere. It's cause I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. Roger's a ninja. Janitorial ninja. Okay, so we can mail our little order form oh, order form here. You drop the order form into the box. The mailbox hums and buzzes for a while. Then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. The machine goes silent. But what is it? What do we got ourselves here? The tray, which is actually a small indentation in the lower part of the machine, is currently bearing what looks to be a whistle. A whistle. You take the whistle. Obviously. We might not. You never know. The whistle is usual looking. Very helpful. Okay, so so far we've kind of got like the same same items, same kind of puzzles, so I guess it's going to be relatively the same as the original. Okay, so we can go up to this, ooh, we'll go up here first actually. We can go up to the swamp area here. Swampy, swampy goodness. Um, and we will save. Because we will die here. Swampy time. Um, but I'm kind of just curious to check out a few of these death scenes. Yeah. Oh, it's like the one from Star Wars. It's cool. Cool. They kind of indicate, in, indicate, indicate that it's there first, though. Um, but yeah, it's gonna kill us. Yep. The swamp monster attacks you with its slimy tentacles. You struggle in vain to free yourself. Oh, unfortunately, your desire to breathe results in the intake of a large quantity of swamp water. If the lack of oxygen hadn't killed you, the taste of the putrid water would have. It's weird, there's no dialogue there. You're dead. Better luck next time, Roger. Oh, Roger. So, we will come back here. In a brief moment. First we've got to go down this way and obtain a couple of items. Yep, 
Yeah, they've done a really good job of the, like, not so much the, um, like the portraits when the characters are talking, but like the actual, like, um, environments and everything. They've done a really good job of capturing kind of like the feel of the other games from the series. possession of one of the spores, being careful not to mistakenly break it open. I guess the portraits are kind of hard to do, really, like, you seem to have kicked uh, um, yeah. I mean, they're not bad. They're just not. Your kick you can tell they're a, di they're a different artist. But these ones, are, these ones, like the backgrounds and result, stuff, you are, are and pretty to true to the originals. To so, a done a good job there. Ah, so you see your little friend this time. I'm pretty sure you see your little friend in the. You can see a little guy across the clearing picking some sort of berries from a bush. You startle the odd little pink dude, causing him to bolt into the underbrush. Sorry, little pink dude. Come back. The original one, you kind of, you'd see that, but he's like rubbing the berries on himself, which gives you the kind of, the hint to rub them on yourself to get through the swamp. I think the original might actually show that little pink dude running into the swamp. So I think it is actually kind of a clue on how to get through there, but I'm not 100% sure. I might be remembering that wrong. Okay, so this is going to be a pain in the ass. We'll do our best. This is probably actually worse than the original because the original you like use the keyboard. This one I'm using the mouse to click, so it's... Yeah, you don't really know exactly where he's going to walk. Touch the sides, Roger. Don't touch the sides. I should probably save it here. Doing alright so far. Maybe this is easier. Now duck. Oh shit. What? Okay. I don't actually know what to do, because that's where you get through usually. Maybe you can just like go through this one. Nope. Alright, this one's a bit more brutal than usual. Good. What the fuck? In establishing contact with one of this planet's life forms. Am I that was unexpected. Dead? The thing exploded, taking you on a one-way trip to that great garden in the sky. If only it didn't look like a maze, you'd probably be able to think a bit more outside the box. Hmm. Hmm. You were half right. Your self-sacrifice won't go unnoticed by the many life forms of Labion. Too bad you won't be around to appreciate it. Okay then. So, I guess from that hint, there's like a... You just, maybe you just like walk straight over. I kind of tried that though and I died. Nope, it's not going to work. Maybe if it didn't look like a maze, you might think outside the box. Good. That... If only it... Hmm. Seems we've come across our first... Kind of bit that's different. The way that thing's pulsating, you really don't want to touch it. Oh, maybe I can use this. Oops. This thing is kind of heavy. I don't think I. Wimp, I guess you better find some other way to make use of the ordinance. This thing is kind. Wimp, don't throw it. Just put this it on thing. the. Wimp. This thing. 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 Wimp. I don't know. I thought maybe you could this make it wimp. eat it and then it blows up. This thing. Wimp. Keep trying. But I guess you can't. This thing. Wimp. I don't really know how to get through this. Ted, if it didn't look like a maze, maybe you'd think outside the box, but... I can't walk over, the, over these bits. Because it still gets me. Maybe I need to get something else first. 
feel like I should be able to use the use that somewhere. Nothing, I can't use that because that's been later. You wish that was a good idea. I do. Then I'd be done with this puzzle. Spock would say fascinating. Data would say intriguing. I would say you're an idiot. It's harsh, man. It's harsh. I'm just trying to get through this bloody puzzle. Okay, we'll go back. Maybe I can like use one of these guys. Chuck Leave them in the there. Alone. He has been through Doubt it. Maybe the rabbit that went down here. You reach into the deep dark hole and pull out the bunny. How the hell did yeah, I was you gonna do say. that? That hole is obviously longer than your. He's arm. magic. He's a magician. I guess realism isn't a concern here in the future. Okay, sweet. We got a dead rabbit. It's the bloody carcass of the adorable bunny-like creature you found. Oh, fuck's ah! sakes. <laughs> you fall down the large and obvious pit in the ground. Yeah. You might have survived the fall obvious. had you not come into contact. Okay, well, I'm going to assume we use the rabbit to make it, like, explode. I guess it would still explode from a rabbit. Okay. You reach into the deep Get dark fishing hole. for a rabbit again. I guess realism isn't a concern here in the future. And not walk down at this time. Very good. Now we'll try and get some berries. Some more berries. Try this shit out. Uh, the foliage. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Oh no. Maybe I can just put it here. Probably tried that in the first place. Oh, okay. <laughs> That'd have been easier. Vine plant. See you later, rabbit. Is he gonna blow up there? Poor mm. weird alien rabbit. First you scare it into an early death, then you steal its corpse. Now you feed it to an alien plant. You're just not a very nice person, are you? I am a nice person. I saved the universe. Wait. So does that mean I can just walk across now? No. What? Actually, I have an idea. I have a better idea. Let's try it first. Um... You shove the unstable ordinance up a readily available orifice of the dead creature. You're a sick Charming. Man, Roger. <laughs> okay, well that worked. I can tell That worked. You place the rabbit carcass on the sticky vine plant. Sticky vine plant, take the sticky vine plant. Yay. Explosion to brighten up your day. And you thought you had to navigate the maze like vines. Well, to be honest, I did. And it was not fun. Cool. Okay, so we we'll get some berries now. You snag some of the odoriferous red berries. Odoriferous. Odoriferous. That's an interesting word. Cool, okay, so now we can get across the, uh, the swamp. That was kind of cool, I guess, in a way that they changed the puzzle for that bit. And I think I prefer that one. Yeah, see, so this one shows I'm rubbing them. I think the first one must too, because I do, I do remember that happening. And I haven't played this version before, so... What is that noise? You rub the berries all over your body. Now you smell like a walking ammonia inhalant. Tasty. 
Tasty. Okay, let's go. Yeah. That's fine, you're a janitor, you've probably seen worse. Okay, so is this one gonna be like um the swamp monster attacks you with its slimy tentacles. Almost as suddenly it spits you back out. You distinctly hear the bad. sounds of aquatic gagging and retching. Evidently, you had a bad aftertaste from the berries. Okay, I wonder if this one's going to be the same as the um, original where you have to walk in the right spot. You have stepped into a deeper yes, area of the swamp. You are forced to swim. I feel like this one's a little bit more obvious though. Because this kind of looks like the path you would probably take to get through here. Whereas the original one, it's in like, like a weird corner that you probably wouldn't go past, so... Um, what you can do here... You take a deep breath, filling your yep. lungs to near oh, and you have to hold your breath. head for the depths below. Original one, you actually have to type, hold breath. Otherwise you come down here and then you die. A little bit, a little bit hardcore. So down here should be a glowing gem, which we shall take. You take the glowing gem. Yeah. And then we can get back in the water. You take some time to file your no. Go in the, go in the again, pool, man. Go in the pool. Take in a load of air and head below. <laughs> it's a cool little animation. Yeah, I'm liking this one so far. I mean, I thought the dialogue was going to be distracting, but you it's not. You have gotten out of the deep spot and are back on your soggy feet. It's not too bad, actually. Roger's voice is a little bit like, a little bit distracting. Like, no, not really that close to his original one, but I can deal with it. Okay, so this bit here, we want to push this tree, I believe. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions as some of the others generate. You begin to climb this tree, sorry. Snag. Crack! Oof. Oof. Holy log jams, Batman! You almost bit the big one. But I didn't. I did not. Okay, we'll save it here. So, is this bit going to be the same? It is. Yikes, sure is. You have been snared. Suspended above the ground, you are unable to move freely. And After pass while, out. The cerebral fireworks begin. Capillaries begin to burst under the strain. Capillaries. What was capil capillaries? Once again, pronounce capillaries. Capillary. I don't know. Then, some more time passes. While unconscious, you have the strangest of dreams. Is it going to show me it? Uh. You hallucinate that your name <laughs> That's is funny. Larry. You are wearing something Oh, this is the same dream. Suit. But you don't see it. of fully synthetic materials and proven to generate large amounts of static electricity. I like how he's blonde instead of... Can I move? No, that would be cool if he could move. While prowling a locale known as the Land of the Lounge Lizards, you spend your time badgering women of the area to participate in bizarre mating rituals uh, such as... Just then, consciousness begins to creep in. Oh. Your head begins to clear and you realize that you have been imprisoned. Your captor appears to be that large oaf sitting near the fire. Oh my god, it looks like the predator. These creatures are genetically bred, rigorously trained to subdue the most threatening creatures in the universe. And he has captured you. <laughs> he looks a little embarrassed about it. I would be too. Alright, I'm assuming the solution is going to be the same here. If 
but we will save. Okay, so usually you just go talky talky to him. Uh, hi. My name's Roger. Roger Wilco. <sighs> you don't like that. Oh, so you only talk to him once. The hunter stands and takes a long look Maybe. in your direction. His face, though strange in its own right, bears an expression one might see on a freak show patron. Quickly. Go, go. Spores. Upon impact with the ground, the spore opens and spews its dust into the air. The hunter falls to the ground, paralyzed. Take that, predator. Cool, cool. Okay, so. Keys. You reach through the bars and take possession of the key. And. Here on the door. Slip the key into the lock and give it a turn. The lock snaps open. And take the rope. You grab the rope. And get the fuck out of here. Somehow. This way? Yes. Hey, there's the stairs. There's usually stairs here. It's probably a trap. Probably a trap. We will investigate. You feel at the edge of the ledge. Nope, no secret pathway. Face it, you aren't Harrison Ford, and this sure as heck isn't Indiana Jones. It's fucking you stairs right there. You've, 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 you've. Wait, am I going crazy or what? The stairs right there. The hell? You get dizzy. You get. You get dizzy. I'm not being crazy you about this. You get. That looks like a pier up here. A set of stairs, like right there. You. 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 I can't use them. Gravity Oop. sucks. It's a long way down. It's one small step for you, Roger. One major trauma for your head. Okay, well, I guess those aren't stairs, but they definitely look like stairs. I might have to look that up. It's, it's kind of weird. Can I go this way? Nope. Alrighty. It's rope time. Gripping firmly with your legs, you tie the rope to the middle of the makeshift bridge. Excellent. Excellent. Oh no. It's the old Godzilla man, he's back. What, what the fuck? Wilco swing a medic. Do I click? You need to be further down. Oh, okay. Um, I kinda want to save here, but apparently I can't, so I guess we're just gonna. Can I go down more? No. I cannot. You reach the end of the rope. This has a negative effect on your resistance to the urging of gravity. Gravity. Urging of gravity. Okay, so. Go down one. Down one, and then I guess we swing and then we jump, maybe? Oh, I see. So the original, you wait until he swipes once and then you jump. So we're gonna give that a go. Uh, no, a little bit more. Okay. Your timing causes you to jump when the rope is what? It's supposed to use your you momentum, Roger. The nature of solid ground, especially when struck from 50 meters, you now bear the dimensions of a manhole cover. <laughs> I guess we just have to do it like when he's actually over the ledge. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's rude. Put that butt away. Put that butt away, Roger. 
into the dark darkness of the cave. We're gonna need a glowing gem for. You take out the gem and hold it in your palm. The room is illuminated by its glow. You hear a small shriek and the sound of many footsteps moving away from you. Ooh, it's very pretty that gem. Got a nice green light going on. What the fuck? What happened? I had my gem and everything. The ground below your feet disappears. You tumble down through the darkness. Oh, I thought I got eat it. That was a rather spectacular entrance. All systems seem to be intact, though. Very good. Ah, oh, it's our pink friends. They're back. The dwellers mumble something. Your translator responds. Follow us, Beanpole. Jesus. Jesus, it's the chipmunks. Okay. Don't forget our gem. <clears throat> and I think I will save here because I'm not sure if we're about to walk into danger or not. Sure am. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank you for saving our compadre from the hunters. No problem. You are welcome to stay in the canyon as long as you like. When you are ready to leave, simply say the word and my assistants will show you the only way out for a being of your size. When you leave, however, we must seal the exit behind you for our own protection. Goodbye. And good luck. Don't like the sound of that. Don't like the sound of that. The small pink dude is standing by the large rock. So in the original one, you actually had to type the word to get him to move it. Now, what was that word? Gameplay note. You'll need to type the password into the translator. Enter will what, close really? the translator. Really? That's weird. Okay, so we do have to type it on this one too. So it should just be the word. The word. It's kind of cool. I guess it's like an, a little nod to the original game. You realize that the little pink dudes weren't kidding around. It's very dark and cramped in here. So, it's gonna be so. This this area is pretty renowned in the first game for being one of the most annoying puzzles to figure out. Um, you use the gem earlier to like light your way by holding it in your hand. In this part, you actually have to put the gem in your mouth, which is like kind of an obscure solution. Seeing as like with the with the original game, you actually have to type that in. Um, some thought far beyond your normal mental prowess you put the glowing gem into your mouth yeah so this one is easier because ah, you just click better. but not a great deal better but better the other one you actually had to found um, that gem. not only does it like your way but it should come in handy in a later game in a later game wait is that a reference I don't remember so this has got a, a skull I think that's probably a bad way to go we're gonna, actually, we're gonna we're gonna save it first. Oh shit. Oh what the hell? Whoa, this is weird. Stop. Oh what I can't save? I can't save. Alright, so we'll go this way. So he just like keeps crawling, like non-stop. Which is pretty weird. Oh we can go down here. Shall we go down is the question? Shall we keep going? This looks like a dead end actually, so that answers my question. Warning. Warning what? Okay, we'll go this way first. I'm gonna trust that sign. Now this is back to the start. No. I'm gonna be here forever. Um, I 
think we went this way last time. Maybe we need to go down further. No, this is where I came from. The stickies. Oh, I can. Oh my god, I can click things. I didn't know that. Oh. Wait. Am I dead? You have an opportunity no. to stand and spare your tender knees. The crystal clear water gives off a gentle glow. In abundance, it is able to light the room. You take the glowing gem from between your aching jaws. You notice it is <laughs> overly moist as you slip it into your pocket. Tasty. Tasty, tasty. 